Hey everyone, I am your financial advisor. <laughs> Today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get rich faster in Bloxburg if you want to build a mansion or just save a lot of money. Here are some things that you can do for making money a little bit faster. So the first tip I'm gonna give you, if you have a second plot that is, or you want to do it on your main plot, whatever you decide to do, is you build a very, very small working station that you don't need electricity for. So you just add the cheapest items combined. So you add a toothbrush so you can brush your teeth, that gives you the hygiene. Then for energy, I'm gonna be adding in a bed and I'm gonna go for the cheapest bed right here, so maybe the sleeping bag even. And then we need food, of course, and for food, I'm going to be adding in the cooler so that you can take quick meals out of that one. And then for fun, I'm going to be adding, not a roof, I'm going to be adding in a very small little pool that I can use to get my fun up. And as you can see right here, this is my bills free plot. Now you want to go to options and turn off the automatically pay bills option. And you don't even have to pay your bills for this one. You can get your moods up just by doing this. Swimming around a little bit, grabbing a snack. What I do is I always grab yogurt because that gives 45 in hunger. And you just swim a little bit, you can uh, brush your teeth probably and yes you can brush your teeth right here so um, I'm brushing my teeth in the swimming pool and as you can see now my hygiene is up I just need some more fun so I'm gonna just swim around a little bit and my energy is going down obviously because I am swimming and that makes me a little bit tired so I'm just gonna be swimming around a little bit you don't even have to move it just gives you fun and now that my fun is up, I'm going to take a little nap in my sleeping bag. And as you can see, I can get all of my moods up here without even needing electricity or water and I don't have to pay bills on this plot. Now, if you only have one plot, I would suggest strongly to stick to the same small house before you start building a mansion because if you are working you're gonna have to pay bills for that and it's just better to have some money first before actually going and building because you are gonna want to build something and then you're gonna run out of money and just get frustrated and give up the best thing is actually to just get a small house live in that for a bit and then once you get money enough or think you have money enough you can start building your bigger house then another tip, and preferably you need advanced placing for this one and enough block bucks for a sprinkler. So while working, you're gonna wanna place a sprinkler and then right next to that, you're gonna wanna stack some trees I use lemon trees or orange trees. You can you can basically choose whatever you want. I'm gonna use lemon trees for this one. And you want to stack like 20 lemon trees inside each other. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. And you want to go out of build mode again. I placed it a little too far from my mailbox. And then you want to harvest the lemon. So as you can see, you get $338 per lemon tree. And the value actually goes down for what you get. Uh, the more lemon trees you have, so I suggest not having too many lemon trees. And now you're gonna just wait for that to grow. So while working, this is gonna grow and you're gonna get some extra money for that. Then another tip I want to give is stick to one and the same job. Yes, I'm a very low level on this account. I used to work on another account and give money to my main, but <sighs> neighborhoods. But yes, stick to one and the same job. The main reason for this is you will level up and earn more money in the meanwhile. So if you switch jobs a lot, you won't level up and make more money. Every time you do level up, you make just a little more than what you did before. So if you manage to get to level 50, you will be rich in no time. Another thing when it comes to working is set some goals. So you don't wanna be working hours a day. Well, if you want to, you can do that, but you don't wanna overwork yourself or you're just gonna get bored of working and not want to even start your shift anymore. So what you can do, for example, say, hey, I will work 30 minutes a day starting from now or 20 minutes a day even, and just do that while watching some YouTube or listening to some music, watching Netflix. You can just say, I will watch one YouTube video while working every single day and you will make some money. So I made 861 so far for working one minute. So you definitely are gonna start saving up a little bit if you set some goals and don't really overwork yourself like that. 
but the main objective here is stick to one and the same job. You're gonna make way more money in the long run and in the meanwhile my lemon trees are growing so that is some extra cash as well. Then if you do decide to start building something anyways and you're trying and missing something, don't click the delete button and delete this because you are only getting 70% of your money back. So for example, let me buy something really expensive. So you want to show off that you worked a lot and you go into decorations, you scroll down all the way and you see this, um, where is it? <laughs> this egg right here and you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy this just because it's a lot of money. You're like, okay, I'm gonna put it here and it's $120 thousand dollars so if you delete it you only get eighty four thousand dollars back that is a loss of thirty six thousand dollars but with the undo button you get all of your money back so it's very important to keep that in mind you just got all of your money back instead of losing that thirty six thousand dollars for removing it and that counts for every object by the way so if you want to remove something it is very important to just stay in build mode and undo and not go out of build mode go back in again and remove it because you are only getting around 70 percent back of what you spent and i forgot to mention if you do want some light in your bills free house you can of course place some candles candles don't need electricity to function so i'm gonna add a candle here and then one close to my lemon tree and then of course but this is a very very obvious one once you start getting money and you're a little bit like me you're gonna be like if someone comes up to you and, and they're like can you donate you're gonna want to donate because you feel bad but on the other hand you shouldn't donate because you worked for your money and they should too and if they want to get money they they should just work for it and if they say it's too much work well you did that work and you did not do that work for them you did it for yourself so you should not <laughs> donate if someone comes up to you and says please donate because you're never gonna see that person again and they just took your money and ran basically so I just wanted to mention that as well then if you have a house already and you want to downsize to be able to pay your bills you can either click the bulldoze button and go to options and save what you want to save so for example if you want to keep cars then you want to keep this because cars are very expensive to buy like this one I think is 90,000 let me check it real quick yeah, so this one is $90,000 and if you're gonna sell it, you only get $62,000 or $63,000 back. But if you want that vehicle in your new house that you're gonna build after you downsize, then you just want to keep that aside. So it's very important not to spill money on bulldozing things and then buying them again for more money because that will just run you out quickly and if you want to keep that anyways then it's better to just pay a little bit of bills for that while you're working because you are losing thirty thousand dollars for removing that one and then buying it again you're spending ninety thousand dollars again on it so there is that and then the final one if you don't really like work plots like this and you do want to build a house think about what you really need like do you really need a sink in your kitchen and your bathroom and do you really need a toilet and a shower do you not need one thing to get your hygiene up instead of three and just stuff like that like do you need a couch and a bed or can you just use a bed for your energy and stuff like that because that does save you on bills and you don't really need those items like this already gives you energy and you don't really need a couch for that but if you do want a couch then you might consider not getting a bed and just using the couch for energy and watching TV. So it's just stuff like that you can think about. Like, do you really need these? So those are some of the tips I can give you around saving money in Bloxburg. The most important ones to me are having a plot where you don't have to pay bills on because bills are quite a drain. And then the lemon tree farm, but you do need advanced placing for it and maybe a garden sprinkler would be useful for that as well. And then sticking to one job is also very important to me because you do level up and you do earn more money in the end. Now that was it for today. If you know any more tips on saving money, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. And please, subscribe.